Hello, my name is Only One Kenobi, Only One, and this is going to be a one-off video that I'm making because I want to get some answers to a question I've got about something. Now, I'm a lifelong Star Wars fan and a huge fan of Walt Disney World theme parks. However, I want to talk to you about Galaxy's Edge, which I think is a great idea, and when they make it, without question, it's going to be amazing because they know how to do it. Walt Disney Company know how to make a theme park, and it will be awesome. My question is this. And I couldn't believe it when I found it out. Although I knew they were building two parks, two Galaxy's Edges, one in Florida at Hollywood Studios, but I couldn't understand why they were gonna build the second one at Disneyland, because I thought they were gonna build it at the California Adventure. In fact, I was a little bit shocked. Now let me explain everything again from the beginning. Now I've been to Walt Disney World many, many times in the past. Very familiar with the whole layout and the feel of that place, and I love it very, very much. I have never been to Disneyland on the West Coast, though, unfortunately. However, I know that Disneyland is the blueprint for the Magic Kingdom, so I've got some sort of an idea with the theming over there. But I couldn't understand it. When I found out they were building two Galaxy's Edges, it made sense for them to build it at the Hollywood Studios in Florida, because even way before the acquisition of of Star Wars by the Walt Disney Company back in 2013 or whenever it was I think it might have been 2012 2013 there's always been a very close association with Star Wars and Disney and George Lucas this goes right back to when they had intellectual property they bought intellectual property to get attractions like Star Tours and obviously we know that Disney and Lucas have worked very closely on productions like Alien Encounter Captain EO not to mention the Disney Pixar animation studios, you know, that's all to do with the technology that Lucas made available to them. So it makes sense to have the first Galaxy's Edge at Hollywood Studios in Florida. But the second one in California, when I found out they were building one in California, my first vision was that it was going to be built at the California Adventure Park, which is a little bit more like Disney's Hollywood Studios in Florida. It's similar because they have movie-based attractions there, you know. And it's more of an adventure park, you know, with thrill rides galore. But they, they're not building it there. They're building it at, at, at Disneyland. And as far as I'm concerned, if it's anything like Magic Kingdom, which I know it is, there's certain themes, things that are supposed to be... Disneyland's almost sacred, you know. It's Walt, that's Walt Disney's original park. And the set themes and areas that go to that part, the territory, that you can't muck around with. You've got Main Street USA, Frontierland, Adventureland, and Fantasyland, and Tomorrowland. But to suddenly have a Star Wars land in the middle of it all, it's like making a new land. It's messing with the original formula. I'm very balanced on this. I can appreciate that they're expanding it and they're doing something new at Disneyland, and maybe it would be a good thing. But I just figured that because they've got two parks out there, one Disneyland, the other is California Adventure, and California Adventure you'd think would be the one where they would introduce IPs and cinematic movie-based crossovers to go there. It doesn't make sense to have it at Disneyland. I just wondered what your thoughts were on that. Let me know in the comments. I think whatever they, wherever they put it, it's going to be amazing. Even if they put it at Disneyland, I'm sure it will be awesome. But it just doesn't make sense to, see, <laughs> to be at Disneyland if it's like Magic Kingdom to wander into a Star Wars zone. Just didn't seem to make sense to me. So anyway, you let me know your thoughts in the comments. Thank you very much for listening. This has been Only One Kenobi. Only One. Out.